Hi there, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are Tyler and Lindsay, otherwise known as the Florida Flipsters. We have been flipping furniture for three years now as a hobby and a side hustle. Since then, we have been able to transition from flipping as a hobby to now flipping as our full-time jobs. All of the pieces that we have flipped have pretty much been free and over the past few years we flipped over 200 pieces which is crazy. We've even had our work featured on the Today Show. Their Florida Flipsters TikTok page now has more than half a million followers. They reveal how they find free abandoned furniture and refurbished pieces to sell online. CNBC. Enough for Tyler to quit his job in accounting. This is uh, the, the first day of being self-employed furniture flipper full time. It's been wild. <laughs> in multiple news articles, which we are very grateful for. So today we want to give back. We're not going to hold in any of our information. We're going to share all of our secrets on exactly how we did it because the easiest way to make a profit is to of course get your item for free so let's get into our top 10 ways to find free furniture tip number one we're going to get straight into the thick of it right off the bat Believe it or not, our number one way of finding free furniture is through the trash. We do this by knowing the trash schedule. This is public knowledge. You can go on your city website and look up what trash days are in your area. We typically go the day before trash is scheduled to be picked up. This helps us maximize the chances of finding something and also helps to ensure that it hasn't been out for very long, so hopefully in a little better condition. You can also go the day of pickup if you're early enough and you would be shocked by the amount of free pieces that you can find just by utilizing the trash. Tip number two is to use the Facebook Marketplace free stuff category. I am sure you have had a Facebook Marketplace experience in some way, shape, or form. However, there is actually a specific category in Facebook labeled free stuff that not many people know about. You will be needing to use Facebook on your desktop computer instead of your mobile phone. For some reason, that is the only place that I see this specific category, but I go on there every single morning and look at what was listed from the night before. What's really cool as well is that the more often that you click that free stuff as a category, the Facebook Marketplace actually has an algorithm that starts to curate items that they think you will like. And I'm not lying, almost my entire feed now is free items, so it's just starting to know that that's what I like. So I would suggest to get on there every single day, click on free stuff, and slowly but surely, you will probably be one of the first people to get the alert. And we have found some amazing pieces that people are giving away for free. Moving on to tip number three, we're going to stick in the Facebook category. However, we're gonna move into Facebook groups. More specifically, a Buy Nothing Facebook group. This has been a gold mine for us. How it works is you're going to need to look up Buy Nothing group in your Facebook page. Once you look that up on the search bar, it should show you the closest groups to your current location. I will say for these groups, they are pretty strict, so you're going to need to put in where you are located and they have to confirm that you are within the neighborhoods that they are giving things away from. So you will join your own neighborhood and you will see posts that are only within a certain mile radius from your own home and everything that is posted on there has to be free. So it is a great way to not only pick up some free items, but it is actually a resource that we use all the time if we are actually going to be giving away items for free as well. I promise you, if you put anything on there, you're gonna get tons of messages. So if you are looking to pick up a piece that was listed for free, I would highly suggest to be the first person to comment and be able to pick it up as quickly as possible. Tip number four, always look at the end of the month. It's no secret that the end of the month is the most popular time to move. If you're a renter right before your lease is expiring and you have to get out of there, Moving is also such a hectic and crazy time that it, it seems like you're always inevitably finding something that needs to be thrown out, whether it's, you know, you're just discarding something you don't want to take, maybe you're 
downsizing and don't have room to take something. We are always incredibly busy when we go out and look at the end of the month. So for that reason, I would highly recommend giving the end of the month strategy a try and then feel free to let us know if it works as well in your city as it does in ours. Tip number five. Look randomly and look often. Good things can come when you least expect it, and that is no exception with free furniture. It's no telling when and where you're gonna be when you stumble upon your next great find. For that reason, we try and always travel with a basic toolkit and bungee cords in both of our vehicles. Even if it's my wife's small Honda Civic, you would be surprised what you can fit in there with a little bit of determination and a bunch of bungee cords. We have fit some large items. I remember a bar cart that was hanging out that we had to drive, you know, a few miles and it was a little sketchy, but we made it and it was a great piece. So always be ready no matter where you are. Tip number six is to spread the word. I can't tell you how important it is to tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers, tell as many people as possible that you are pursuing furniture flipping because they're going to become a huge resource. They might personally have some extra furniture that they are planning on just donating or getting rid of and instead now they're going to think of you and potentially gift it to you. Also, they act as new sets of eyes so when they're out driving to work or wherever and they they see furniture on the side of the road they're gonna send you a picture and they're gonna think of you I cannot tell you how many times over the last couple years I've had our friends or family just send us pictures or cross streets of a piece of furniture they pass on their way to somewhere and it has actually been a huge resource for us to find additional pieces of furniture that we personally would not have seen so my biggest tip would be to not be a secret furniture flipper and to spread the word because the more people out there looking for furniture, the better. Tip number seven is to pay attention to homes that are for sale or that have recently sold. I'm not gonna lie, I have a little bit of an advantage on this category because I do actually have my real estate license, so I am very actively looking at the market. However, this is something that you can do as well. There's all of the public websites such as Zillow or Realtor.com where you can go and just search all the homes near you that are for sale or that have sold because they tend to be getting rid of a lot of items. So we have definitely had luck just specifically scouting out those homes and seeing what items they may not be taking with them to the next place. Tip number eight, know your neighborhoods. This one might take a little bit of time to learn your city and learn which specific neighborhoods you have the best luck in and conversely which ones you don't ever find any pieces for free. Three years ago when we first started flipping furniture, we were looking in our local neighborhood at the time. We've since moved, but we still go back to that neighborhood often because it was great three years ago and it's still great to this day to find free furniture. So once you do find a neighborhood that works for you, keep going back. Trends do continue in terms of neighborhoods and their offering of free furniture. So that has been a great way for us to maximize our time, not spend it going randomly throughout the city and to try and hone it in on neighborhoods that we know are great for offering free furniture. Tip number nine. Use all other online marketplaces other than Facebook. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Facebook is by far the number one marketplace, especially in terms of sheer volume, but there are definitely some other options that you should still consider. The Nextdoor app is a great marketplace, and this one happens to be private to your specific neighborhood when you join, so it's great for reducing the amount of competition you have for each item. Another app is OfferUp, and this is a mobile only app, so it has a really easy to use interface, so you can easily go on there and type in free. It's going to filter every item that they have available for free, so you can just quickly scroll through and check for any furniture that catches your eye. You can do this daily, and it only takes a few minutes, so you stay on top of any items that are coming on and grab them as quickly as you can. And thirdly, if all else fails, you can resort to Craigslist. It is still a massively popular online marketplace for basically everything. You can find a lot more than just free furniture on there, but it's similar to the other apps. You can go sort free, find 
furniture specifically and search through it that way. It's a great resource to add to the other two to make sure that you're maximizing the amount of furniture that you can find and you're always staying busy. Now we are on to tip number 10 and I promise if you stuck around this long you're going to be very happy you did because we have saved the best for last. We honestly were on the fence about giving this one away because it has been our go-to. It has been our biggest resource for helping this become a very convenient and easy way to find free furniture. As Tyler mentioned in our previous tips, there are tons and tons of apps and marketplaces where you can look up free items however that can sometimes take up a lot of time so we actually found out about a app that is called freebie alerts it is free which is also amazing and this is not sponsored they are just an incre incredible app all you have to do is download this app and put in your location and then it works it's magic i am obsessed with it because it literally scans all of those other websites for you and as soon as anything pops up for free you will get a freebie alert and it'll tell you exactly what the posting is and it'll say whether it's from facebook offer up next door wherever but you don't even have to have those other apps to get these notifications. If you take anything away from this video, I would highly suggest that you get that app because it really has been a game changer for us. It saves us so much time and we are always ready to be on the go as soon as we get one of those alerts. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe found some new ways to find some free furniture yourself. On top of these pieces being for free, another added benefit is a lot of these pieces are the ones most destined to go to the landfill and so, it's a great way to prevent something, recycle it, and upcycle it. Obviously you're getting it for free, but also doing something good for the environment. And you have a cool story behind it as well. So but let us know if you ever had any cool, interesting free furniture finds yourself. Comment below and tell us what the best one that you've ever had. So we'd love to hear. If you like this video, it would mean the world to us. If you would take a second to like it and subscribe to our channel. Let us know if you like this style of video where it's more of a informative video. We definitely have a lot of tips on how to flip furniture, what tools are our go-to, and we will definitely do more in the future. Until then, we will see you next week when we work on our next piece of furniture.